Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Today we're going to talk about the word plant. It has many different meanings in English and we're going to go through some of them. The most obvious one, of course, is planting something into the ground. For example, you go to the shop, you buy a new plant and you put it in your garden and it looks beautiful. Especially when it has flowers in the summer. That's a plant. Now, as a verb, you must remember as well that you can plant things. And that's quite normal to plant things in the ground. I will be planting many plants this year in my garden. At least I hope I will anyway. That's the most common meaning of the word plant. Now, a completely separate meaning is a place where an industrial or manufacturing process takes place. A nuclear plant or some kind of other plant, for example. Also, plant can have another meaning, and this one is associated with crime. So imagine in the movies, the good guy looks in his pockets and he finds, a, let's say, a bug. Someone's listening to his conversations you know, he finds a little device and he says, oh, somebody must have planted this here because it's not mine. When we sometimes plant things in someone's pockets or we plant a bomb to detonate at a particular time, it means that we want to destroy someone's reputation or to destroy a thing like a building. When we plant a bug or a device or something associated with crime, we use the word plant. Now, we can also use the word plant when we're talking about someone who comes to visit. For example, my brother came to visit me yesterday and he just planted himself down and he wouldn't move. He was there for the whole night. And my parents were getting very upset with him because they wanted to go out. Let's just recap. A plant. Something you put in the garden. Two plants. When you plant the plants in the garden. A plant. An industrial or manufacturing site where processing takes place. To plant is also used with crime. You plant a bomb, you plant something hidden like a bug or mechanical device. Or if you plant into someone's pocket something like drugs, that innocent person could be in big trouble. A plant and two plants. Now, if we think of plant as in a factory, I have a news headline here I'm going to read for you. Country could run out of Lucasade this summer after fatal accident. Now, you know that in headlines we don't use articles. So it's basically saying here that the popular soft drink Lucasade could disappear from our shelves because there's been some accidents at one of their plants where they make Lucasade. I don't know if you know Lucasade, but it's a really delicious soft drink here in the UK. It comes in all shapes and sizes and in all flavours. Let's read through it. Britain could run out of Lucasade this summer after a fatal accident affected the production of the popular drink. Retailers say their stocks will start running out next month and full production is not expected to resume until September. 
However, bosses at the company that makes LucasAid say production is now back up and running and they are working to build supply again. The main factory in Coleford, Gloucestershire, which produces a billion bottles of the sports drink a year, was closed in April after a 50-year-old worker died. Production was halted across 31 lines, including the brand's new Blucasade drink. In emails which have been seen, a warning has been given to retailers that they should expect gaps on the shelves. Promotional activity has been halted in light of stock shortages, the magazine reported. While cash and carry stocks are currently said to be healthy, some lines are expected to be completely depleted by June. A sales director for a wholesale company said, Lucasade is a massive seller for us and our stores, and we've probably got about two to three weeks of stock left. It will affect sales. Our buyer is looking for alternatives, but a replacement is hard to find. The other issue is that the other wholesalers will also be looking for alternatives to fill the gap. A spreadsheet from the company who makes Lucasade has been seen and it shows that Blucasade products will be the last lines to re-enter production with a return date of September. The products expected to resume production first are Lucasade Original and also the 500 milliliter bottles in June with other affected lines expected to return in August. Retailers were clear that the long-term absence meant that Lucasade's space in their fridges would at least temporarily go to other brands. One retailer said, well, no stock, then they lose their space. The company which makes Lucasade has said they are working hard to resume service and also to minimize disruption to retailers. The company's chief operating officer said a serious incident occurred in our warehouse at our Coford manufacturing plant on April 22nd. We are deeply saddened to confirm that this has since resulted in the loss of a colleague who passed away in hospital. Our thoughts remain with the family of our colleague and we also ask that their privacy is respected at this time. In regards to the shortage of Lucasade, they added, after a temporary pause in production, we can now confirm our production lines are up and running and we're working hard to build back supplies of our drinks. Our thoughts remain with the family of our colleague and again would remind you, that privacy should be respected at this time. Also, speaking about Plant and Plants, we can't forget Robert Plant, the English singer and songwriter. He was the lead singer and lyricist of Led Zeppelin from its founding in 1968 until their breakup in 1980. Now, I don't know much about him. I don't remember uh, Led Zeppelin, but I do know that they were very, very famous. And I also know the man's name was uh, Robert Plant. And I always confuse him with Rupert Holmes, that man who sang about Pina Colada, but um, it's definitely not him. Robert Plant is someone else entirely, and uh, Plant is a fairly common name uh, here in the UK as a surname. Now let's just read a little bit more about Led Zeppelin-related projects. Robert Plant performed 
with living members of Led Zeppelin in 1985, 1988 as well. Um, and he's been doing some other things. 1995, he was still performing. 2007, again, uh, he performed. 2008 and 2013. And then apparently uh, in 2014, one of the newspapers reported that he was disappointed and confused or as we say in English, baffled, which means confused, um, because of a dispute uh, in which somebody from Led Zeppelin said he was fed up with Robert Plant delaying reunion plans for Led Zeppelin to get back together. And he said he didn't know anything about it. Um, and he said, well... He was very open to having a Led Zeppelin uh, reunion. But uh, Mr. Page, another man from Led Zeppelin, he said, oh, it's always Robert says this and Robert says that. And we've only ever done one concert. And no matter how you dress it up, it looks like the problem is with Robert Plant. Oh, very interesting. Very interesting. So, yes, that's um, Robert Plant. Uh, he's a very famous man. And on the 20th of September 2010, National Public Radio, NPR in America, named him as one of the 50 great voices in the world. Uh, he's very famous here, that's for sure. Um, even if I don't know who Led Zeppelin are exactly. And there we are. So that's today the meaning of the word plant. I hope you've enjoyed this. See you. Bye.